Chubby Bunnies. Welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How's everyone doing today, guys? Okay, I have a really creepy and very spook, spooky and just probably not a really good video if you guys are scared of like rats and mice and cockroaches. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing a really, really creepy Halloween little um, box okay now the good thing about this is that you can use these boxes for a lot of things you can use them for like holding candy you can use them for like favors you can like maybe you're having a Halloween party and you want to give some you know um, Halloween gifts to your um, guests you can use this for that um, you can use them for goodie bags you can really use them for anything you can even use them just to decorate your halloween theme i mean so many things you can do i'm gonna use it as a decoration because i want to add this onto my shelf where i'm going to be doing my halloween little um things and yeah but i wanted to show you this and i wanted to give you like different ideas on how you can use it so don't just get stuck on using it as a decoration. You can definitely use it as a candy holder or a, a, some kind of favor to your guests. It's very, very, very cute. Very, very, very simple. And what you're going to need is going to be this. Okay? I mean, how more simple can I put it to you guys? Do you guys love me? I mean, I know you guys love me because I'm bringing you these videos and it is so affordable, so easy, that I just, I know you guys love me. Thumbs up if you guys love me and you love these ideas. Because I love them. I do. I gotta say, I love them. Okay. Simple and easy. How can I, I was thinking to myself, how can I use this little container and make it Halloween inspired? I have a lot of these containers upstairs. Um, I love these containers because they're so small, they're so cute, and they have their top, which is fabulous. You can use this and alter this in so many billions of ways, I cannot even tell you. So, I like buying these little tiny um, creamy swiss cheese i like to use these in my bagels you probably didn't need to know that but yes i use these in my bagels they're freaking delicious by the way i don't work for this company i'm not sponsoring anything i'm just telling you that i love love laughing cow and i get a few of different kinds i have this one here and i have this one here now what i like to do with these boxes once i'm done with them is i like to save them because i like to alter them they're very 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 easy to alter they're fun and again they're awesome sizes okay so what i did here i have one here already altered i simply just painted this i used my velvet gray paint i painted it um once i didn't even do it twice i only did one code and this is what you get guys now what i did do was i peeled off the La laughing cow little sticker in the front i peeled that off i didn't peel the one in the back but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be laying on the back anyway but i did manage to be able to peel off the front so if you don't want it to look kind of like messy make sure you peel off the front um, label okay so we're gonna decorate this box in a very creepy way because I want to put this on top of my shelf and I want it to look really really creepy so I have some cheesecloths here that we're going to decorate this with I have a few of these little fake mouse that um, rubber mouse that I got at the dollar store and then I have some moss that I want to um, also use, okay? I also have a cockroach that I have here that I want to also use, okay? So, I'm not doing anything to the inside because obviously I'm not gonna use it for anything, but again, if you guys want to use it for like a candy holder or maybe like a gift holder, it is absolutely perfect for that, okay? So to my little box, I'm gonna put the top on Okay, and I'm gonna decorate the top and I'm gonna add some moss to the top of my box 
Now this stuff can get really, really, really messy. So make sure that um, you are working in an area that you don't mind the mess, okay? Because it could really get messy. I'm not using too much. I'm just using a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna use some of my cheesecloth first. And I want to add my cheesecloth to the top of my box. Okay, I'm going to just add some hot glue randomly to the top of my box. And I'm just going to glue down my cheesecloth. Okay. If you want to cover the whole box with cheese, uh, with cheesecloth, I guess you can if you want to. I'm not going to cover the entire box because I do want the black to show out, to show. But I want my black to show. So I'm not going to cover my entire top of my box. But if that's what you want, then go right ahead. There really isn't no wrong way of doing this, guys. Trust me. So just add your cheesecloth and just place it how you would want it to look. Okay, I think that's more or less how... Okay, now I'm going to add some of this moss. Now you can match pot dish if you want. You can glue it if you want. I'm gonna hot glue it because I'm not gonna mess around too much with this. I'm just gonna let it sit on top of a, a top of a box. So it's not gonna really, um, I'm not gonna really do much to it. I'm not gonna really mess around with it too much. But if you are gonna move it around from place to place, my suggestion is to hot to match patch or um or seal it with like a good sealer because it will get messy Ay, 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 that hurt. Oh my god. I just burnt my fingers. Okay, I think I'm gonna put maybe a little bit more on this side over here. touch it because I just burned myself and that hurt. Okay, so I think I think that is basically pretty much how I want my top to look. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much okay. So I have some pieces of like mesh here that I didn't use on my other projects. I'm just gonna very like randomly just add them to the top of the moss. Very randomly. No no like really way of putting it, just random. I wanna use them. I don't wanna just throw them out, so I might as well just use them for this project. Where is my here this just very randomly, just put them down. Okay. And I have another piece here. Okay, I'm gonna put this maybe here. Okay. And you 
you should get something something like this now remember you can alter this however you want so um, this is the way I want mine to look but obviously yours is gonna look a little bit different maybe more creepy maybe more simple maybe more worked up however you want but I, I wanted to create this little like creepy scenery okay so now I'm going to add some of this purple mesh onto my project in the little corner. I'm sorry if you guys hear the, bar the, the dog barking. Okay. And I think that's basically it for my scenery. I'm going to start adding my mouse down. So I'm going to hot to glue my mouse roughly like right in between this right here. See that? So you can hot glue your mouse there. I'm going to hot glue my mouse. And then I'm going to hot glue this cockroach roughly like right around here. I'm not going to use this mouse because it's not big enough to use two mouse, but I can definitely use the cockroach. I Instagrammed this cockroach and you guys freaked out. <laughs> I know it's creepy. It is very creepy looking and very ugly. I agree. If you want to keep adding more mesh, you can if you want. Um, you can also add some of the moss like coming down this way if you want. I want to keep it simple. I don't want to really do too much to it because I already have a lot of heavy things that are going to be going onto my shelf. So I don't want to overwhelm my shelf with so many things. But but this is really cute though. But this is this is really adorable. Guys, I, I mean look how simple this little cute box was. We did this like in less than 15 minutes. I'm not even kidding you. Less than 15 minutes, we created this really cute, adorable box. What do you guys think? Isn't this the most cutest thing in the world? I mean, I know it's gross. It's not really cute. I mean, cute is not probably even the proper word, but it's very Halloween inspired. That's for sure, right? All right, guys. I hope you guys like this really short tutorial. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I like to do with these little boxes that I get. Um, I mean, there's so many things you can really do with these. You, there's a lot more that you can definitely use these little boxes for, okay? So just use your imagination. Um, if you guys um, create this project, please let me know. Um, tag me on Instagram so I can see how it looked. And I hope you guys have fun. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you thumbs up if you like it, okay? Alright honeys, I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for stopping by guys. Bye!